Hi zookeepers, hi cobras, it's Ms. Amron. Today I have another special guest and her name is Clarissa. And Clarissa is my niece. She is 13 and she is in eighth grade. And she's gonna read a story to you today with our storytelling board. So I hope you enjoy it. Clarissa, what's our story today? Sleepy Bears. All right, let's go ahead and read Sleepy Bears. Sleepy Bears. The days were growing darker and colder. Mother Bear shivered and called to her children. Come in, come in, my beautiful bears. Winter is here and, and in winter we sleep. Bedtime already, cried the bears as they tumbled inside. Oh yes, said Mother Bear, but there's plenty of time for your own special rhyme. If you climb into bed and snuggle in tight without any fuss and without any fight. So the little bears jumped into the soft feather bed and pulled up the covers as fast as they could. And there they are, they're in their bed, getting ready to go to sleep. Baxter Bear was the sleepiest. He yawned a big yawn. Mother Bear kissed his sleepy head and said, Sleep, my darling pirate. Let your dreams come true. Battle other pirate ships with your fearsome crew. Raise the skull and crossbones. Breathe the salty air. Find your treasure, count your gold, and sleep without a care. And Baxter Bear fell fast asleep. All right, we're gonna put a hat on Baxter Bear and it's a pirate hat. Then Mother Bear said, now who is the sleepiest? Who will be next? Bella Bear yawned a big yawn. Mother Bear kissed her sleepy head and said, close your eyes tightly, the circus is here. You swing up and down and the crowd gives a cheer. You glide through the air with incredible ease for you are the star of the flying trapeze. Sawdust is swirling and lanterns are bright. Sleep, little dreamer, be happy tonight. And Bella Bear fell fast asleep. Okay, there she is in bed. Then Mother Bear said, I'm gonna put her hat on for her trapeze show. Then Mother Bear said, now who's the sleepiest? Who will be next? Winifred Bear yawned a big yawn. Mother Bear kissed her sleepy head and said, dare, dare, double dare. Where is the tiger asleep in his lair? You creep through the jungle while old chimpanzees chatter and roar from the tops of the trees. A tiger, a tiger, you're onto his trail. A tiger, a ti tiger, grab hold of his tail. Dream of adventure, dream without care, and sleep very soundly, my brave little bear. And Winifred Bear fell fast asleep. And there's Winifred Bear with his safari hat. Then Mother Bear said, now who's the sleepiest? Who will be next? Tosca Bear yawned a big yawn. Mother Bear kissed her sleepy head and said, sleepy head, sleepy head, eyes so green. Travel through kingdoms where you are the queen. A crown of diamonds for your head and gorgeous gowns of silk and thread. A splendid throne and castles grand and you adore and you adored throughout the land, and Tosca Bear fell fast asleep. And Tosca Bear has a crown on her head. Then Mother Bear said, now who's the sleepiest, who will be next? Ollie Bear yawned a big yawn. Mother Bear kissed his sleepy head and said, Ollie bear, Ollie bear, tummy all tight, dreaming of scrumptiousness all through the night. Chocolates and candy, sugar and spice, ices and syrups and everything nice. And Ollie bear fell fast asleep. 
here is Ollie's hat. Then baby bear yawned a big yawn. Mother bear smiled and said, I know who's the sleepiest. I know who's next. She kissed his sleepy head and said, Sleep, my sweetheart, sleep, my bear. Your cradle swings in the evening air. Moonbeams touch your precious face, and stars float by with gentle grace. Sleep, my sweetheart, have no fear. Sleep, my darling, I am here. Then guess what happened? Both baby bear and mother bear fell fast asleep in their soft feather bed. And here is her hat. And now they're all sleeping. And all of them slept until spring. The end. There they are with their special hats. Thank you, Clarissa, for reading to the boys and girls today. You're welcome. Cobras and zookeepers, I hope you have a good night's sleep, and I hope you enjoyed the bedtime story. I love you. Talk to you tomorrow.